everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie. The channel is all about what you food and family, and we're back in the kitchen with mom. And do you want to share what we're making today? Well, when we were growing up, we did a lot of spam. So one of the ways we cooked spam was with crushed pineapple, mustard, and um, brown sugar. Brown sugar and the and the pinch of cloves, ground cloves. So we're gonna recreate that, but we're gonna use spam. Just as an example, and then we're also going to use it on a on a ham. On a ham. So yes. I bought this ham at the market, and this is a two and a two point seven nine pound ham. So we're going to also put the pineapple on here too, right? Right. Yes. All right. And we'll make some vegetables and have it for dinner. All right. So keep watching. Okay, so. Um, so we're gonna use a crushed pineapple, mm -hmm. and I, you know what? It's been so long, and I haven't made this. So, and we never measured, so <gasps> I have no measurement. So we're gonna do it by taste. Okay. okay. So we need all this. You wanna open it up? Sure. Okay. So would this be like a a dinner that you guys would have, or when it would, would you be guys? It would be for dinner, definitely for dinner. And it was something that um, any of us could make. I could make it, Warren or Owen, um, and. And so we just, you know, it was a simple meal that any of the kids could prepare. And did you so eat this with rice or how do you? With rice, rice, yes. Okay. So pour the whole thing in here? Right. If you watched our last cooking video, uh, we recently made beef stew, uh, one of the dishes that I think mom and her brothers would eat growing up. But we also made macaroni salad and grandpa used to put a lot of the pineapple in macaroni salad as well. So I, I feel like pineapple was a staple in your house in a sense. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure by tablespoons and then we're gonna taste it. Okay. okay we're gonna kind of go by sight and later then figure out how much. Okay, so that's one tablespoon. Can I mix it? You can mix it. Okay. Two. It's and a let's, lot of sugar. let's start with a quarter cup. So three, four. How many um, tablespoons are in a quarter cup? Um, I believe it's four. Since there's eight and a half a cup, and it's sixteen and a half. Okay, good cup. job. She used to be a science teacher. <laughs> Oh, let's start with two tablespoons of the mustard. Okay. okay. So is the mustard just to balance out the sweetness? Is that why you guys put mustard? I guess. I mean, we just use mustard because that's what Grandpa said. Mustard. Is it mustard? Okay. So, so is this a recipe that you remembered or like you recalled or you had to like look it up? Or how do no, you... No, I just remember that's what we used. And we would add a little bit of cloves. Just like a dash. Okay, now we're gonna taste it. Okay, well you should taste it because I don't know if I know these flavors. Oh, Hi. somebody woke up from their nap. Hi, Ellie. Hi, here come. Is it how it? Hmm, it's good. It's a little on the sweet side. Okay, I think that's enough. So in one can of pineapple, then it's. Um, not more than four tablespoons oh, yes. of yes, sugar. Okay, and then maybe I'll add, and I added two tablespoons of mustard. mustard. Yeah. So a little bit more mustard, you think, to mm. balance it out? Actually, or? I think this is good. Is, that's how yeah, it is? I think this is good. Um, and then are we gonna put this on the ham as well? Yeah, oh. we're just gonna put it on there and we're gonna bake it. Oh. And that's, so that's a really easy, fast dinner. And we'll make some veggies on the side of this. So this ham is going to bake at 50 minutes per pound. So we're going to bake it for about 40 minutes. And we're baking it at 325. We're just following the instru instructions on the wrapper. But, um, yeah. And so we just do this and then bake it. So how long do you bake this spam? I mean this ham for? I mean this spam. How long do you bake this spam? You know, I, I think, I really don't remember, but I, I think we can just bake it as long as we bake that. And, and for that one, how um, do we put it over? Maybe what we want to do is score it a little bit. Okay. So, so you guys 
never really did ham. Um, Pineapple ham? Or you actually, did? Grandpa did, but it was always canned ham. And I never liked canned ham, so that's why. We need the real thing. Right. So I'm just gonna cut diagonals here. Cooking with my mom is helping to give me a better understanding of my grandparents and how they used to live their life. I understand that everything is perspective, but from my lens, life today is so fast paced and can feel so complicated that sometimes a dish like pineapple ham or spam for dinner just seems to hit the spot. A comfort food that just feels so much like home. your grandparents or parents what they used to cook for dinner? These questions open a world of knowledge about our past from the ones that came before us. All right, so while we do that, we're gonna be making a coleslaw, and I've had this in a previous video before, mom's coleslaw recipe, but we're gonna do it again. What was the coleslaw recipe? I don't know, it was whatever you, I mean, it's probably different every time it's because it's just no. it's just whatever right. mom has in her we're, fridge. We're gonna use um, lemon today. Okay. I washed the cabbage and quartered it, and then I'm just gonna take out the ribs. I mean the inside. What you call it? Oh, she has a lot to say. Then I'm just going to, and I like, and I always. Do it by hand. Even if I have a food processor, I just always do it by hand. So. While mom was finishing cutting the cabbage, she directed me to shred a carrot to add the coleslaw, a bit of color and sweetness. I don't normally measure. So we're making the sauce for the coleslaw. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to start with a mm -hmm. cup of mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And actually I used only three-fourths of the cabbage since we're going to be adding in a little bit of carrot. So I'm going to start with a, a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. And this is one head of cabbage, yeah? It's three-quarters of oh, three quarters. It's kind of a small head. It's a smaller head of cabbage. When did you start to learn to make coleslaw? Was it just something that you picked up? Because I love coleslaw. So I always, and we used, oh, we used to make a lot of coleslaw actually. Like ground meat and coleslaw? Yeah. And it was just with mayonnaise. That's probably why you like it. Because Maybe. You had it growing up. Right. Okay, and I'm going to add in three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. And is this another recipe that you normally would just eyeball, or do you well, actually I, I measure? I normally measure the salt, mm -hmm. so I don't normally just eyeball the salt. So. And oh, pepper! We forgot pepper. We can't forget some pepper. We'll add about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And this is good. Yeah. Can I eat it? I guess so. Half of a really big, gigantic lemon. Yeah. Oh. It's a little bit less than a quarter of a cup. So. Is that half the lemon? Yeah. A lot. An eighth of a cup? An eighth of a cup of sugar. Are you trying to taste this? 
It tastes like there's not enough lemon, but I don't know. It might be okay. Mm, it's kind of salty. It's salty. I need a little bit more lemon. We'll see another eighth of a cup. Maybe. A little less. <laughs> I'm grateful for these moments in the kitchen where mom and I can cook together and honestly, I feel like I'm learning from the best. I can't wait for the day when I'm in the kitchen with my daughter and can tell her stories about her grandparents and her great grandparents while bonding over food. I want you to try it, actually. This is kind of fun. Mmm, sweet, salty, tangy. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. Good. Yeah. And it'll taste better when the cabbage absorbs all the flavors. Mm -hmm. When I think about it, I think Grandpa used to sometimes add pineapple. <laughs> How did I know? So keep watching because Reed is gonna make very easy ahi belly fish that we found at Madokai today. If you are from Hawaii or you were born and raised in Hawaii and now moved to the mainland, you know that Spam is such a huge staple on the islands. I'm curious to know what your favorite way to eat Spam is. Let me know in the comments below. So if you're watching this and you're not from Hawaii, uh, let us know if you've never tried Spam before because it is a Hawaii staple for sure. This is something that if you've grown up here, it's just a part of the culture. Spam is the beef, spam eggs and rice, I mean, spam and green beans. Doesn't uh, McDonald's also sell spam? Yes, McDonald's in Hawaii sells spam. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Let's try I this. I like mine with pineapple on it. Okay, get the pineapple. All right, okay. let's try it. Mmm. Good, huh? Spam with pineapple sauce. Delicious. It's good. It's spam with pineapple sauce, but it's good. Does this bring back memories? Like, is that how you used to eat it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I loved it with lots of pineapple. Like the juice? No, that's crushed pineapple. Oh, the crushed pineapple. Mm. Yeah, it's delicious. Good. It's very good. All right, can't wait to eat it for dinner. Those of you who don't know, this is Reed, my husband. And he Some of you know though, because you stop me in public and you're like, we love your videos, <laughs> but it's not my video. But that's okay. But he hasn't cooked on the channel for a long time. But tonight, just to supplement our ham and spam, uh, we bought a fish from Madukai, and it's just a wild ahi that we found. And so Reed's cooked this before for us, but we're just gonna, gonna film how he cooks his fish. We're gonna try something a little bit different. Usually we just salt and pepper it, throw it in olive oil, and put it into the frying pan. Mm -hmm. um, ahi cooks pretty fast, so you don't need to put it in that long. But tonight we're going to try something different. We're going to cornstarch it and flour it, Ooh. and salt and pepper it, and put it in there. It's going to be a little bit crispier, mm -hmm. crispy ahi belly. All right, let's try it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one and a half cups of cornstarch to half a cup of flour. So basically a three to one ratio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here it's gonna be way too much cornstarch, I promise you. But so that's the recipe. No, but so use less, in other words, right? Is what you're saying? I, I would say not one and a half, but the most, you can use a cup of cornstarch. So then you would just use. I, no, I'm just 30. telling you, because you, you're just gonna. Is it just this fish? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want you to waste the cornstarch. <laughs> I mean, I hope you don't put that in the video. Okay, let's well, keep funny. that in there. <laughs> All right, so change of plans. <laughs> We're gonna go one cup of cornstarch and a third cup of flour. So it's still a 
a three to three to one ratio. It's just using less. We just try not to waste the corn starch. Starch. Yes. And while Ari's doing that, mom is on this side cutting the ham that we're gonna have for dinner. Okay, so that's about one cup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll put this away because it's super valuable. <laughs> okay. Here's the third cup. Flour. And then you go a third cup of flour. Okay. There you go. Not wasting any cornstarch. We should mix the two together, right? Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in salt and pepper to taste. I'm just gonna estimate, I'm usually pretty good at this, where we just kind of take pinches of salt and we put it in there. So I'm gonna do one and a half pinches of salt. And it's Hawaiian salt, so it's a little bit more, more um, potent. potent. So you don't need as much as if you use regular table salt or um, other kinds of salt. And the last thing we're gonna do is put in pepper. And there you go, mix that up. And while Carrie's putting oil in there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ahi belly and we're gonna coat it in this mixture. You know, and my mother-in-law was right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is a lot of cornstarch and flour, but it's okay. It's going to good use going to cover the fish. So I just make sure it's fully covered. Because there's salt and pepper mixed in on here. I'm gonna make sure it gets on all of the fish. We're missing the first steps of our daughter. Actually, it's like the second and third types of steps. She's with Auntie Jenny right now. But, she but everything for you guys as subscribers, we will miss our daughter's first everything. <laughs> just keep liking and subscribing. Okay, so we're ready to throw the fish in. The, I, the oil's significant, it's hot, it's hot enough. So, we will watch here from we go. Wanna see the fish? Daddy's frying a fish. Okay. So we're just gonna let it cook for a few minutes on each side. We're gonna let it cook for a few minutes on each side and uh, it's gonna get nice and golden brown, hopefully. And um, the inside should be cooked because the fish is not that thick. And uh, we're gonna have crispy ahi belly, so we just have to make like a dipping sauce. Ooh, what are you gonna Most put likely, in like a, I'm thinking like a wasabi aoli. Ooh. Okay, let's flip this. See how it, how it looks. Mm. Not quite uh, golden brown yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there. So we're going to let this finish and we will take you to the dinner table. So for dinner tonight, we have ahi belly, coleslaw. Um, Reed made this sauce for the ahi. What did you put in your ahi belly sauce? Wasabi and um, mayonnaise. <coughs> and then we also have some ham with the pineapple sauce, spam with pineapple sauce, and just some salad. Super simple. Super ahi? simple, but excited. Ellie yeah. is going to have some of the ahi for tonight. and We didn't want to give her the spam or the ham yet. It's salty. But. Oh, give it, give it the spam, yeah. how is the spam? How is the spam? It's good. And I like the pineapple. Oh, you like that? Try the ham. What is that? The ham? Yeah. Yeah. The ham? Cola. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Mm, spam is such a great delicacy in Hawaii. Delicacy. <laughs> I'm having one. I think that's your water here. I think if I remember right, we should have spam at school. In school lunch. Sure. Cook the same way. I know. Okay, mom, how do you think everything turned out? Okay. Huh? Ah, oh, Ellie is enjoying something. Ellie has the fish. Reed, what are your thoughts so far? What have you tried and what do you what do you think? You know, I'm eating the ahi belly and the ham. Ham is good. It's a really sweet flavor on the ham. It's really good. Okay, Lori, how's your food so far, Lori? Mmm, good. Bam. More spam? Yeah, just spam. Mm. Ahi belly, very good. What else do I have? With the, the mayonnaise. Oh, the aioli. Mm. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Another night of just simple cooking with the family. And um, yeah, hopefully, you know, this is another idea if you need something fast and simple, something that you can make really, really easily. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys soon.